welcome back to Good Knit Kisses. On behalf of my friends at allfreecrochet.com, I'd like to welcome you to another tutorial. This one is actually on some hair accessories. These are things that you can take everyday uh, items at the house, such as rubber bands for yourself or your child. These are um, some toddler uh, rubber bands for the hair, some other cheaper rubber bands. Here, this is just a long um, a headband, and it's just real plain, um, you know, and you can always end up taking this stuff off, so uh, if you don't like it, you can change the color or um, when the styles change. Let's get started. Uh, what you're going to need is a um, nice headband or rubber band. It's the same process for either one. I'm going to do the headband so you can see it a little easier. And we're just going to need some fun fur. Um, you can use some scraps of it. It's uh, real thin. Uh, you don't have to use it with anything else and just use it by itself. We're going to start by making a slip knot. Wrap it around your finger and pull the back over the front. And then pull the back over the front again. Put your hook in there. What we want to do is uh, put your working strand on the back here and we're going to put our um, hook on the inside, pull it through uh, like a slip and then we're going to wrap this and then pull it all the way through. So pull the material all the way through so yeah, you've really got it attached. And this extra straggler, we're going to wrap it into it so just kind of let it lay up on the inside here and then we're going to pull from the inside and then wrap and pull it all the way through go from the inside, grab it, wrap it pull it all the way through and then grab it, wrap it, pull it all the way through Make sure you are getting all of your loops through. So just continue on pulling the yarn from the inside, wrapping it from the outside, pulling it all the way through, and then you're just going to continue on until you get to the end uh, on the other side. And you can uh, keep this part showing if you want to show what this uh, is behind it or you can make your stitches uh, really tight and not see this extra color. Um, from the other side you actually can't see it as much as it's going to be the outside so I'm not worried too much about what this is going to look like um, again because I'm using a multiple variegated color of the fun fur or eyelash yarn. So keep going and we'll meet you back at the other side. Okay we're back and we're at the very end here you can see uh, this is where I began and this is where I'm uh, at at the end here and I I did not mention at the beginning what size of hook I was using I'm sorry about that uh, this is a G um, it's a 4.25 millimeter uh, with this tutorial you couldn't see the stitches as much with the um, blue uh, color or the red color that I have over there <laughs> so I'm using this one um, I had it's actually harder for me to use this one with the eyelash yarn um, for some reason but uh, anyway go ahead and uh, wrap it keep keep going with your pattern until you get to uh, the close closest to the end as possible and so once you've got it to the end and you feel like you've got it closed up enough uh, go ahead and um, pull on through that last loop and cut it and then you are really you're done um, you can go back through just to make sure that it doesn't come unraveled um, kind of pull tight on that go to the opposite side and tie it in with uh, to join up so this was my the way I began and this is the way I ended so I'm gonna kind of wrap this in here make my hook sort of go oops, I'm sorry I'm getting off camera uh, go up and in through these chains here grab my yarn and we're gonna pull it on through and do that again Kind of, I, I find it easier if I just kind of grab my hook and go in here because it's kind of hard to see the stitches and really we're just trying to get this little scraggler guy all the way in here straggler scraggler whatever his name is 
So it's going to be a little hard to see and challenging. Uh, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's In fact, it's going to be messy. You won't be able to tell, but at least he's not going anywhere. So once you've got him in there, like he's a boy, <laughs> once you've got him in there, go ahead and just cut it out, and you are done. So you have got this little cute fuzzy headband, and then again, put them in the smaller um, the smaller ones for your ponytails, piggy tails, all that kind of stuff. We hope you have a lot of fun with these fuzzy hair accessories. Thanks again. I'm Kristen with Good Knit Kisses on behalf of my friends at allfreecrochet.com. Happy hooking!